Hello, my name is Guy Odishaw, I'm the owner and one of the practitioners at Bhakti Wellness. Thank you for tuning in today for our talk on health and how to recognize health through interoception. So first, let's start with what is health? An informal survey of over 75,000 healthcare providers, uh, less than 2% of them had ever had a class in school on health. So it gives us a sense that, uh, that health is not something we really understand how to talk about directly. Most people when asked, and I found this with my students when I was teaching, when asked, we describe health in the absence of symptoms. So we can talk about what health isn't, but actually talking about what health is seems to elude most people and uh, many healthcare practitioners. This seems like somewhat of a problem. And how can we really, how can we get something if we don't know what it is? If we only know that we had it by its absence. And it seems to set up a, a difficult uh, dynamic. So we can look to the Eastern traditions uh, to try and see what they've had to say. They certainly talk about health more than they talk about disease. Actually, many of the forms of uh, Eastern medicine don't have in them a language for disease. They have in them primarily a language about health or one's relative lack of health or distance from health. But they focus mostly on health. So they talk about balance and harmony are two of the words that are often used. And that sounds great, but if we really you know, look into that, what does that mean? How do I know when I'm balanced or when my system is harmonious, if I'm living a harmonized life? How do I know? And so this is what we want to look into and where our term interoception comes in. So interoception is, uh, can be described as the felt sense. You've probably had this experience of having a gut reaction to something or a heartache, uh, been nervous, had butterflies in your stomach, had that you know, sense uh, walk into a, a, you know, a dark alley and you have that chill go down your spine, it just kind of alerts you. So these are examples of interoception, uh, but more when it kind of pushes its way into your awareness. What we want to look at is how do we uh, kind of consciously tap into this stream of information. And that's the actual act of interoception, is when I intentionally listen into my body or pay attention to it, much in the same way that seeing is Exteroception, so when information from the external senses, the eyes, the ears, touch, comes into my awareness. Interoception is like that, but it's information from my interior coming in to my awareness. And so interoception is the act of consciously opening to the uh, flow of energy and information coming from the body up into the brain and then into the mind. And that's what we're gonna talk more about today and have a, a demonstration of that. We're gonna get a little help in our demonstration from the Hennepin Avenue Methodist Choir. We're gonna, uh, in a moment, you're gonna see a video. And what I want you to do is uh, just kind of uh, pay less attention to the information coming in through your eyes and less attention to the information coming in through your ears and pay more attention to your body and how your body responds to what you hear in the video. And just give you a little bit of an idea, you're going to be introduced to three states. A rigid state, which is, you might think of, say, a fear response, as in the fight, flight, or freeze response. And the rigid is kind of like the freeze response. So it's perhaps a fear response, 
can get locked into an emotion. Um, it may affect your body. It may affect your thinking. It may affect your access to your resources, like higher cognitive functions, problem solving. Um, and so, it could, again, it could be anger. You get locked into a kind of a rigid state of anger when uh, your thoughts are just going in one direction, uh, kind of driven by the anger. And it, say, blocks out a response of compassion and you can't access or get to that place in you that you know you have, which would be compassion, but the anger is there and it's really holding you in that place. Or it could be depression um, that is holding you in a, a particular pattern and you just can't seem to get out. So that would be an example of rigid. We'll also listen to chaotic. So this is maybe more like overwhelm, um, when there are all kinds of thoughts and feelings and you're being feeling like you're being pulled and pushed in all kinds of different directions and you just can't find your bearings and you can't find uh, a kind of stable place again to access your resources of you know clear thinking problem solving uh, what is you know the optimal response to this life situation you can't seem to get into that place because you can't find stable ground you're off balance. So we'll experience how that state feels and then we'll experience uh, harmony when uh, in this case many voices but in terms of your own system when many aspects of your life are very different but they're all producing um, a flow of energy and information that has a coherence and a harmony to it and we'll notice how that feels. That harmony feels a certain way in our body, generally feels good, opposed to the rigid and the, and the chaotic state. Um, well, they feel rigid, limiting, chaotic, out of control. And then the harmonized state feels good. And this is our example for health and then our relative lack of health that can arise. And how through interoception, we can have a felt sense of our health, our relationship to health, by noticing the amount of harmony we have in our system, in our life. And we can feel this directly through interoception. So let's take a moment and listen to the choir. So how was that? Were you able to feel a sense of constraint around the rigid state? Or feel the sense of disruption 
of the chaotic state in your body? Were you able to feel your body kind of resonate with the harmony and get a sense of how that felt? So this is an example of health and interoception and how we can use interoception to notice our health. If you have questions or if this has piqued your curiosity, if you would like to know more about interoception, to know more about how to cultivate health as opposed to fight disease, how to cultivate more of what you want and put your attention on what you want rather than having your attention on what you don't want. If that's of interest to you, you can go to our website uh, and see our classes on mindfulness meditation, on mind-body skills where we learn interoception uh, and many other skills for cultivating health and our class on the seven stages of life. And also, uh, you are welcome to uh, make an appointment and come in and see one of the practitioners at Bhakti Wellness and get some direct support for cultivating health in your life. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day.